Authentic Transparency Dropping Masks We live in a moment of human experience where the opportunity to effortlessly drop the masks that hide our true identity is accessible to everyone. Ironically, a powerful medium for this is itself a giant mask behind which it's possible to be almost anyone we choose to be and be accepted as such. This medium is social networking, where we may play limitless parts on many stages and, like actors who play their parts as if they're real, lose ourselves completely within each part. In a way, we're able to be the perfect version of who we long to be. Beautiful, courageous, kind, thoughtful, generous, wise, steadfast, creative, loving, and in every way an example of how our world can really be. If we look at how popular superhero movies have become, we may get an idea of a powerful energy that's influencing the collective consciousness of humanity. At their core essence, people truly want to be the best version of themselves. While it's true many people use these disguises for illegal purposes, the vast majority are hiding whatever they hate within themselves and presenting a version of what they believe is the ideal person they would like to be. There is a safety net associated with the untold millions of relationships formed in this way in that they may keep hidden behind their electronic images forever if they choose, never actually connecting with anyone in a real way. However, interestingly, there's an automatic heart connection wherever truth is being touched. It's artificial at first, but despite the illusionary nature of the relationship, the essence of truth bleeds through. Attention and belief expand anything into experience. This can feel like a sad legacy of the electronic communication era we live in, but there's a silver lining. Attention is an incredibly powerful force, and repeated attention on anything, combined with belief, brings the object of attention into our experience as a manifested reality. If we truly believe we are someone beautiful, wise and loving, despite the charade, the experience begins to show up in our life, in spite of our deception, and we surprise ourselves by who we have become. These images still hide the true, real self, but before we can recognize who we really are, we must let go of the mask of unworthiness, a mask that everyone wears on some level, whether obvious or deeply subconscious. The mask of worthiness is initially called self-esteem and it's related to an ego image or persona we have come to believe represents who we are. If it has been sculpted into a powerful superhero type image, it will, for a while, be highly satisfying. But eventually, even that image will fail to fulfill the longing to know the real self. When that longing becomes insatiable, true self-discovery begins, and the false image is stripped away, allowing every mass to be exposed, felt fully through, and dropped or transformed by the grace of self-love that emerges naturally when truth is the only thing that will satisfy. This is authentic living, accepting nothing but the truth no matter what, and inevitably it leads to the core issue of who you are as the self in all its beauty and grandeur.